Hi, it's Dwyer from GamblersAdvisory.com. Very quick take here. Uh, tomorrow, heavyweight fight between Chris the Nightmare Ariola and Jamil McCline. I don't think that fight is going to go the distance. Uh, I don't like the seven and a half uh, round over-under, though. And what I'm recommending you do is I'm recommending that you split your bet uh, put half on Chris Ariola to win by knockout and put the other half on Jamil McCline to win by knockout. Note that McCline is a plus 370 according to some books just to win the fight straight up. So you should get pretty significant odds, substantially higher than that, taking Jamil McCline to win by knockout. Both of these guys have a legitimate chance of winning this fight by knockout. Uh, Jamil McCline um, famously knocked down Sam Peter three times in their fight before Peter got off the canvas and won that fight by decision. Note that Vitaly Klitschko when he fought Sam Peter was unable to knock Sam off of his feet. McCline clearly has pop. Conversely, uh, Chris Ariola. Uh, has the faster hands, has power in both hands. He has a style that reminds me of David Hay's style. Also note, too, that both guys have significant problems. Chris Ariola uh, has holes in his defense. In his last match, he actually got dropped in the second round by Travis Walker before getting off the canvas and uh, stopping Walker uh, in three or four rounds. Whereas uh, Jamil McCline gets uninspired in fights. And, uh, for example, in that uh, Sam Peter fight, Jamil McCline's mind seemed to wander from the ring. And he allowed Sam Peter to not only recover, but to come back and outbox him. And anyone who has watched Sam Peter fight knows that you have to be pretty distracted to allow that to happen. Uh, let me also point out, too, that I do understand that Mike Mullo, took Jamil McCline the distance, just like Sam Peter did, but understand that styles make fights, and Chris Ariola is much more aggressive than Sam Peter and Mike Mollo. He's going to cut off the ring. He's going to force the issue. That's actually going to help Jamil McCline, who seems to fight better when forced to fight back. Uh, McCline has a unique skill set. He has a pretty decent jab. Uh, many feel that uh, he has a secret injury that doesn't allow him to throw that jab over 12 rounds. Be that as uh, it may, uh, he also has a pretty good right hand and he's very accurate with the punch. And so um, I would not be surprised at all if he were to win by knockout. I think you'd be foolish to only bet on Areola by knockout. So to sum up, I don't see the Chris Ariola Jamil McCline fight going the distance. Uh, rather, I see that fight ending inside of 12 rounds. Don't just take the under on the over-under. In fact, don't take that at all. Rather, split your bet in two. You'll win either way. You'll get a net profit either way. Take Ariola by knockout and take Jamil McCline by knockout. Let me also uh, quickly um, answer. Some of the uh, correspondence I've gotten concerning the over-under in the Paul williams Winky Wright fight, I understand that that over-under is 11 and a half. I know a lot of people want to take the under in that fight. Uh, the under might happen, but I'm staying away from that particular prop for this gambler. There's too much risk involved there. Uh, Winky Wright is a master defensively, and even though I believe Paul Williams is going to win that fight, um, Winky Wright, I haven't seen him get seriously hurt, uh, much less knocked down. Um, his style of defense is such that even if Paul Williams opens up the uh, medicine cabinet on him, um, I could easily see where Winky Wright would be able to stay on his feet to go the distance. And so uh, that over-under prop I'm not recommending in that fight I'm simply making a recommendation that you take Paul Williams to win the fight, not to win the fight by KO. Okay, visit us at gamblersadvisory.com. Leave your comments for us here. 
Um, and as I always say, if we're wrong, punish us in the ratings. Punish me in the ratings here on YouTube. But if I'm right, give me five stars. Good luck. Protect yourself at all times. And remember, when you bet, always use your head. Thanks for listening.